Personal pumpkins. <laughs> Stuffed acorn squash on the grate. Fire it up. Why don't we go ahead and stuff these things up and put them on the grill. They'd be great outdoors in the grill. Um, and really an acorn squash, a stuffed acorn squash is really more or less a one dish meal without the dish. And since this is a show that's about a beer to drink, oh, look at that. Thanks to keep us happy I appreciate it. while we're going, cheers. We're uh, drinking some stuff from the new Belgian company. Pump oh, look at Kick. that. Pump kick thing. I think one of the things we need to do first is to probably make the stuffing. So I'm going to make the same stuffing that we made for the hog balls. Remember last year mm -hmm. during tailgating season, we made a, a, a sausage ball that we wrapped in bacon and put it on the grill. So this, it's really a simple stuffing. Uh, we need a, a, a basic, it's generically, I think everybody, whatever you buy, they call this stovetop stuffing mix. Um, I just happened to buy the regular stovetop stuff um, because I wanted to get the turkey. In the hog balls, we used one with cranberries in it. Remember that with the dried cranberries? And that turns into a pretty good thing. You can use any one of the flavors that you want to use. The cornbread one, it really doesn't make any difference. There's a hundred different ones that you can use. So we're going to add the stuffing mix. We're going to add about a half a cup of onion, about a half a cup of chopped celery, and an egg. Nice. And about a half a cup of water. Mix that up well. The acorn squash has kind of a it's kind of a, a oval shape, and they're not going to sit straight, so they'll just fall over. So what I like to do is to kind of take it and make a flat spot on it. You don't need to take a lot of it off. Acorn squash, the pumpkin looking ones, we're just going to kind of cut it as we would be cutting a jack-o'-lantern. Cut us a crown here. We get our guts out of the middle. And you can tell this is real easy. And hey, I'll tell you what, if you've got a youngin and you want to carve pumpkins out and you don't want to get into those big pumpkins, how cool is that? I love it. Love it too. Why don't you go ahead and make those into jack-o'-lanterns and I'll finish up carving out these. Two faces. Uh, Any, should it look like anybody we know? I think. <laughs> this is Anthony Gordain. Anthony Gordain. Like oh, I love it. That's funny. Not too funny, actually, but I'm trying. <laughs> trying my hardest today. And the other one will be Gord Ramsey. How does that sound? Gordon Ramsey. I like him. <laughs> All right, now that we got the, uh, the pumpkins or the gourds, I'm kind of straightened out. I'm going to just add a little bit of margarine to each one so we have so we can you know retain our little bit of moisture in there. It's really kind of easy. You just put a little square in there, maybe a half a tablespoon if you're going through, maybe a tablespoon inside of the uh, inside of the acorn squash because they're a little bit bigger. And that's easy to do. And we just take our seasoning here because we want to make sure we season them up. And this is, uh, I believe. Competition barbecue rub from Barbecue Pantry. Cheyenne over there was nice oh, enough I like to that. give us a little bit of barbecue seasoning. So we're just going to season these up in the inside a little bit. One of the things we almost forgot was putting in the sausage into the stuffing. We use hot sausage. Um, you can use any one of the chubs that you feel comfortable with. Um, hot, spicy, not spicy. It really doesn't make any difference. I'm going to put some gloves on here because I'm going to be mixing this up pretty good. If you want to dump that in there. For oh, me, so yeah. you're going to, yeah, you... I was wondering, why can't you just stir it up? But you're going to be, I'm going to be in it. massaging it. Yeah. Almost forgot to put the sausage in. That had been a big mistake. So all I'm going to do is take this stuffing right here, and I'm going to drop it right in. Make a little ball. Stick it right in the holes. Oh. So you got a big, basically you got a, this is a large mass. When we take it to the grill, the smoker, you're gonna, we're going to want to make sure that's cooked all the way through. Yeah, you want to make sure that the inside of the sausage gets to be 165 degrees. Now, if you're going to put these on a grill, make sure it's kind of a, I'd say a low, medium kind of grill if you're using gas. If you're using charcoal, make sure you got a good, uh, um, uh, good solid base. In other words, you don't, you don't, you don't get too hot. You want to make sure those coals are burned down a little bit. And then you go ahead and uh, you can also go ahead and pre, if you want to make it fast, you can stick these squashes in the microwave. Um, with a little bit of water in a pan and microwave them for five or six minutes it makes it a little bit faster and you can brown the sausage off before you put it you actually put it in here so everything's already cooked all you're doing is you know more or less what we call heat and eat right and I think what you said if you're low and slow smoking it it should be you ought to check with a the thermometer yes make sure the that you're sticking the thermometer in there and that they're getting to be 165 degrees so all I want to do then is put the little lids on here just like this Those look like a million bucks. And lo and behold, we have jack-o'-lanterns. 
our little personal pumpkins and then for you know these are these would be good for the kids these little ones and then for mom and dad well they get an acorn squash let's get them on the grill cook them up and see what they taste like sounds good to me so let's take a look at this and i'll tell you what this looks fantastic we uh i put a little foil on it so we got a nice after it crisped up a little bit so we got a nice little uh, cook all the way through it did a great job um, I got an acorn squash, or you got a pumpkin? I love it. So uh, Yeah, I just want my own personal pumpkin. Your own personal pumpkin. So the idea is that we're going to open them up. I'm going to open mine up. And then I'm going to lay it open kind of like, like that. And it did fine with the, you know, it did. It's, it's dark on the bottom. And I'm going to put a little extra virgin olive oil on mine. Would you like some on yours? Absolutely. And anybody wants these recipes, greattv.com. You can search out pumpkin, and I'm sure it will come right up. Let's try it. That's really good. Are you really good? Trick or treat. This is a treat. Who Easy wouldn't like eating out of a pumpkin head? Make sure you subscribe, tell all your friends that Great TV is the great place to be. Buy local, think global, stay sustainable in every chance you get. Hug your mama. Definitely tastes like fall. Doesn't it? Want me to feed you? No. <laughs>